Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Wednesday, the 24th of July, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Western is named A Team Test Team to come up against India A. And in our feature for this evening, we focus on the youth camps hosted by the Youth and Sports Department at the E.T. Willett Park. We go to break, and I'll be right back. Jump up, free up, bet up, no standing up, love, passion, pride, culture, I'm a party vibe, music, folklore, pageants, and so much more, love, passion, pride, culture, I'm a party vibe. Join us from July 25th to August 6th for the Caribbean's greatest summer line. It's Culturama 45. Love, passion, pride. 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 Culturama 45. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. The West Indies A have been forced to make a number of last-minute changes to their squad for the first test against India A starting on Wednesday at the Vivian Richards Cricket Ground. Opener Craig Brathwaite and wicketkeeper batsman Shane Dowrich have sustained ankle injuries in the last few days and have been ordered to rest for the first test. In addition, John Campbell has been elevated to the senior West Indies squad to face the senior India side in the first two My Team 11 2020 internationals, co-sponsored by Skoda, taking place on August 3rd and 4th at the Broward County Stadium in Lauderhill, Florida. As a result, the Leeward Islands Hurricanes pair of wicketkeeper batsman Jama Hamilton and opener Munson Hodge will replace Dowrich and Campbell respectively, and Trinidad and Tobago left-handed opener Jeremy Solanzo will replace Bratwit. Solanzo will also act as cover for Bratwit for the second test starting the following Wednesday at the Queen's Park Oval in his native Trinidad. Sharma Brooks will now captain West Indies A in the first test and may also lead the team in the second if Bratwit is unable to play. The full squad reads Sharma Brooks captain, Sunil Ambry, Jermyn Blackwood, Ruston Chase, Rakim Cornwall, Miguel Cummins, Jama Hamilton, Munson Hodge, Shemar Holder, Sherman Lewis, Raymond Reefer, Jeremy Solozano, Solozano and Jomel Warrican. The team management unit, Iswan Crandon, head coach, Andrew Richardson, assistant coach, Andre Coley, assistant coach, Neil Barry Jr., physiotherapist, Gregory Seal, strength and conditioning coach, and Avinesh Sitaram, the analyst. Meanwhile, disappointing not to get picked for India, says Shob Shobman Gill. Shubman Gill has admitted to being disappointed at not being selected for India's tour of the West Indies, saying he expected to be there in at least one of the squads. India will play three 20 matches, three one days, and two test matches against West Indies with the first T20 on August the 3rd. Gill, who is with the India A squad in the Caribbean, finished the one day series at the top as the top run getter with 218 runs in four matches, averaging 54.50 with a strike rate of 98.19. He hit three half centuries and was named the man of the series. Gale had earned a call up to the India squad for the New Zealand tour earlier this year and played two one days, though he didn't get into double digits in either game. I was waiting for the Indian senior team to be announced on Sunday and I expected to be selected for at least one of the squads Gill told Cricket Next. It was disappointing not to get picked, but I'm not going to spend time thinking over it. I'll keep scoring runs and performing to the best of my ability to impress the selectors. It was a fantastic series for me and the team as well, since we won with a 4-1 to one margin, Gill said. Personally, I would have liked to carry on and score at least a couple of hundreds in those 50s, but I will learn from this experience. The biggest lesson that I've learned from my first West Indies tour is to try to curb my natural game depending on the match condition. But while he didn't make it to the squad, Gil was discussed at the selection meeting with Chief Selector MSK Prasad saying he went to New Zealand when KL Rahul was suspended and now Rahul has come back, so he, Gil, is, in, is on the waiting list. Definitely, he will be considered in the future. We got to break, and when I come back, we'll have our feature for this evening. 
Love fashion pride. One word for it. Pride. Spectacular boy. The best yet. Extraordinary. Shell down. I can assure you. Hi everyone, I am your contestant number one in this year's Miss Culture's Rumor pageant, Miss Babita Sila, a proud ambassador of fit wellness. And I am here just to let you guys know to take the full advantages of the free HIV testing and counseling that is offered at the Alexandra Hospital, also at the Health Promotion Unit and all the health centers on the island. Well, I'm back and this evening we focus on this item on general sports. The sporting camps organized by the Youth and Sports Department for the summer vacation are going well. This fact was confirmed on Tuesday as the NTV Sports Page camera took in some of the action at the E. Willett Park. Quite a number of youngsters are booked for the cricket and football camps which are both based at the park. Leroy Junjun Sweeney is the man in charge of the football camp ably assisted by Alge Newton, Carisha Powell, and Dequani Newton. They referred to the program as a grassroots program where the children are being taught basic passing and control of the ball with an emphasis on making the game enjoyable and fun. An actual match will be played on Thursday, 25th July at 1 p.m. and parents and other interested persons can come out and see what the children have learned during the period of the camp. As regards the cricket, the lead coaches are Tonito Willett, Kian Pemberton and Kezron Archibald, who again are simply emphasizing the basics of the game for the participants. These include ground fielding, catching, batting, bowling, and wicket keeping. There is also an emphasis on making the game fun. All of the camps will climax at the Eater Willet Park on Friday, 26 July, with an official closing ceremony. And so, thanks to our team who went on to the Eater Willet Park to get some of the action, let's take in these moments. Department for doing the development of the um, grassroots football. Um, good afternoon, I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Newton. Basically, it's a, like a grassroots program. Kids are having fun. It's a summer program here with Miss Carisha Powell and our next recruit, Michael Maloney. In, into grassroots is just more like having a lot of fun, see how much goals they could score, see how much time they hit, touch the ball. So it's just naturally just movements and enjoyment of the game. Yeah. Okay, we're here, we're here with the more elite players them who are going to be representing inside of the primary school division. We have coach Alger Newton who's doing this training session today. So. Yes, yes, so right now we're just working on some basic control and pass, some simple passing and movement with the youngsters, it's important that we get in these little ball skills while they are young, so that when they grow, they already have such skills develop and inside of them and gearing and ready to go. So that's basically what they're doing. Some simple control and passing. When we finish, we're going to go into a small game situation and then we finish off for the day. But the camp has been going well, headed by Mr. Sweeney, assisted by a young national footballer. Been going well, numbers shaping up nicely. So by the end of the week, we hope that these youngsters would have gained a wealth of knowledge and help them going forward. We have to go around that orange cone. We sprint up again. We come back again, under and over. Go around the orange cone. Sprint up, over and under. So you want to try to get the first in front of us. want to do that, you get some water. Same thing going around until you reach the end. Are 
That's all package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you are not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and a sacrifice. Have a good night.